Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, once again, I'd like to... This is going to be kind of an in-progress... Um, kind of an in-progress uh, showcase of this new team that I'm about to... I'm about to fix. Um, I'll explain more as I get into it. But, um, like always, I'm going to have some music going in the background. Um, yeah, that's a bad out. Oh, this is going to be Exire, Across Rivers of Yore. Yeah, that's some uh, blurry album art. Some low red stuff. So... Yeah, just gonna have this going in the background. But uh, I am in kind of a hurry right now because I still need to get going on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. So I gotta. Here, let me do this. But like yesterday, this is a totally impromptu video. Uh, but. Okay, so. should go so recently um this morning after god knows how long of wanting this weapon i finally freaking got it so the boreal crystal explode 34 greens um grant a status status effect while out metals um and as it shows here it's going to entangle the guy on the top, so this almost works like my Doom Glaive that I also have. And it also, um, it creates a Leaf Storm. So, I haven't, um, I haven't really tested this yet, so, but I'm going to replace it with the, uh, Osseous Tome that I used to have. Uh, and then, more of a banner... Yeah, um, I'm gonna say blue and purple. Oh, and for those of, uh, let me back up a bit. This is a version 2.0. Um, you probably, I don't know if you guys saw it. Kind of got ahead of myself. Yeah, this is what I originally had. Um, for the longest time, this team was my main, my shrooms and booms. I think I made a video on this uh, some time ago. But like I said, for a while, this team was my main. Um, and I, I want to say this is right around the time that uh, DJ Screw started uh, hanging out on my stream, started helping me out, um, showing me other troops, showing me other teams, etc. So because of that, I've been playing this one less and less. So. But again, now that I got the um, Arboreal Crystal this morning. So I'm going to throw that in there. Um, and then for banners, I think I, yeah. I'm going to try blue and purple because the Goblin Shaman, he creates the, uh, seven green ones. So again, we're looking for uh, that's purple and blue. Uh, two blue, one purple. There we go. And then I don't, I don't think I would need the green since Arboreal Crystal creates a leaf storm. Goblin Shaman already creates green gems. So. Between all that, there's already going to be a fair amount of green gems coming down. So that's why I favored a purple over green. Like I said, I only did maybe uh, one single battle with... Um, yeah, I started on this, but I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I got my Shrooms and Booms team. So... This is going to be Shrooms and Booms version 2.0. Like I said, I only did one single battle with this, so I don't know that much about it, but it's just like before. You're, um, you're prioritizing blue, but I think you're also um, going with purple after that. 
So we're gonna go ahead and explode them. And this will create a leaf storm. And again, it'll for um everybody except for um Gabi Shammy because he's not an elemental. Everybody else is gonna get a random status effect. And did this in. Now, I guess one weakness that I just noticed is uh, I don't really need the brown gems. Well, more green gems means more likely to get this off too. But again, it looks like I, I already see a drawback. It's gonna create a fair amount of useless brown gems. So, man, blow the board. And just going to do a quick battle or two, and then I'm going to try a PvP battle or two to see how well it fares. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's like I got more greens than I know what to do with. So it looks like the um, the order so far is going to be King Gob. some uh, green gems out there remember each time it's putting up a leaf storm and it's also entangling the uh, top guy So, so let me go ahead and try a PvP battle or two. Now, uh, kind of iffy. I'll go ahead and do it. Remember, the, the main goal is I'm trying to showcase this team. So, not really, not so much trying to trying to rack up a big win or great victory or anything like that. Just to see how well this works in PvP. Oh, we'd like to be helpful. I guess kind of a little drawback, although it's understandable why. His mana colors are blue and purple. It has nothing to do with green. could see that being a major pain in the butt at some point. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, excuse me. Almost, but not quite. So, let's blow it. Almost. There we go. Damn. Guess I made, made the mistake of uh, shutting off my soundboard. Uh, Still ain't doing those. Okay, but... So, but the way it's looking right now, I like it. And like I said before, this, uh, I think, I think before, uh, DJ Screw started hanging out on my streams, this was my main team. So, ain't seeing no blue. Yeah, that was why there there was a firestorm going. Too bad there wasn't a skull down there and a whole bunch of greens. Oh, wrong one. Wrong ability. I was trying to cast the boat. Run that one. There we go. So, so again, for those that don't know, um, with this ability here, you only really want to cast it when the combination of uh, skulls and green gems results in at least a four match. The, um, the AI in this game doesn't get this right, and um, it'll cast it the very moment it comes up. Otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I just wanted to do a quickie demo on that. Um, I got to get back on to my blog post. I got to get that typed up and posted up. Um, I got like a, a 5 to 6 p.m. window, so like a one-hour window, and I hadn't even started on it yet. So, like I said, this is, once again, this is totally this is, uh, totally an impromptu video. It just occurred to me, hey, I could use a Boreal Crystal in the Shrooms and Booms team. But anyway, anyway, so yeah, um. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.